there's so many things you can do here that you didn't actually think you could do. Quidditch Society is one of them. I mean, the Doctor Who Society is one of them. The Chocolate Society is one of them. It's just a lot of things that, you know, back home maybe you can't do it, and here it's encouraged, you know, there's so many things that you can do here. Exeter has been a really wonderful city to live in, to study from a year abroad. Um, there's lots of fun things to do at night and great restaurants to go out to for dinner and it's been really easy to make friends as it's not too big of a city. I've met the most amazing people here and it's really welcoming and being so close to the city centre, there's so many things to do in town. The Bill Douglas Film Museum has been a really interesting and exciting facility to use and visit while I'm here on my year abroad. It has lots of things that I couldn't access anywhere else. When we're studying different films, we get to look at lots of different things from different time periods, and it's really interesting to see the history of what I'm studying and get more of a hands-on experience with the material. The gym facilities here are just ridiculously good. I mean, I came here and I thought it was not even just a university, maybe a sports team or something, that's how good the gym facilities were. You go out to the sports facilities at the top of campus, really nice place. Everything is there for you, it's just so easy to do. I think going for a year abroad to study is one of the best things you can do for experience with meeting people, experiencing other countries and cultures, and of course getting an alternative learning experience to yours at home. It's been a really exciting year and one of the best things I've ever done. The, the one piece of advice I'd give to someone who's coming to Exeter and studying here is make sure you want to go back home because you're going to love it so much that you're not really want, going to want to leave and that's the predicament that I'm in at the moment. I mean, I've had so much fun here. It's just become like an alternate reality for me, a dream, you know, that has to eventually end and I've got to go home.